I am looking at putting quadratics to work. So we're going to solve the following problem situation. We're going to draw a diagram and we're going to show whatever work we need to. So I'm going to start off. I have the length of a rectangular doily is 7 times the width. The area of the doily is 63 centimeters squared. Find the length of the doily. So first we're going to draw a picture. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to label the sides. The length is 7 times the width. We don't know how long the width is, so we will call it x. The length is 7 times that, or 7 times x. And the area is equal to 63. So we know that the length times the width is equal to the area of a rectangle. And we have that x times 7x is equal to... 63 centimeters squared. So we're going to start by clearing parentheses and setting this equal to 0. So x times 7x would be 7x squared. We're going to go ahead and set it equal to 0, so we would do minus 63 equals 0. And you have options on how you want to solve this. You could, it looks like we have a common factor, a greatest common factor of 7. We could take the 7 out of this. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's divide everything by 7. And so now we would have x squared minus 9 equals 0. All right, now hopefully you notice that x squared minus 9 have a difference of perfect squares. So that's going to factor to be x plus 3 times x minus 3. So we would do equal 0. All right, then you set each factor equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0. And you also have x plus 3 equals 0. I just set those up backwards. I didn't read that that was a, a plus right there. So here we go. We're going to add 3 to both sides. So we get x equals 3. And over here we get x equals negative 3. And we've talked about this whenever you have a real world situation with quadratics and we get a positive answer and a negative answer. We're looking for a distance. We're looking for the width of this thing. So it doesn't make sense to be negative 3 so that we know that the width is actually 3 centimeters. Now, if the width is 3 centimeters, then the length would be 7 times 3, or 21 centimeters. And again, the negative does not make sense. Now, I'm going to work this on this calculator over here. And what we can do is we can put it into y equals. So I believe it was 7x squared. So we're going to do 7x squared minus 63. All right, and then in y2, we're going to put 0. Okay, so we could look at the graph. And notice right away, you can see that you have negative 3 and you have positive 3. So again, the negative 3 doesn't make any sense. So you have x equals positive 3. Or we could look at the table and notice that we have 3, 0, 0. And if we scroll up, negative 3, 0, 0. Okay, or we could look at calculating the intersection, number 5, and remember we press enter, enter. So again, you have spidey is over here on x equals 3 when y is 0, so another way that you can get that x equals 3. Alrighty?